What's up, beautiful people? CLG Lifestyle here, influencing you to love self. Hope you guys are feeling blessed, grateful to be alive. Coming at you with a quick video, quick message. Want to encourage somebody to get up and do your workout. Get up and run around the block. Get up and do some form of physical activity. You've been on and off with this strong desire to transform your body. You've been working out for a very long time, but you just have not gotten to the maximum satisfaction when it comes to the transformation of your body. So whatever reasons, you know, sometimes distractions, sometimes mental infirmities, such as, maybe I shouldn't say mental infirmities, but you know, things like depression and doubt and, excuse me, having a defeatist mindset for whatever reasons we've come. We come from different places and different backgrounds and, you know, the reasons why we think the way we think can be expressed in different ways or for different reasons, right? But similarly, we can come to an understanding hopefully that at the end of the day as children of God who are followers of Christ his word says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us so it's not in our own ability it's not in our own might but by the spirit of God we are able to do the things that we are physically impossible we are unable to do physically right and so Christ came to give us life and life to the fullest, right? And I believe that applies or that is applicable to every area of the human life, even in areas we are yet to discover. Because if you haven't noticed, we are in still increasing, increasing in knowledge, increasing in just the full scope of the human ability and how we're able to innovate and create and ultimately transform the lives of people and humanity for generations right so we're growing in our knowledge right and i'm not going to get too deep into kingdom revelations but the word talks about in christ there are spiritual blessings and knowledge and wisdom that is stored up for his children so once we've gotten our act together and have decided as for me and my household, or as for you and your household, you're serving the Lord. Meaning, you have made a decision to finally put God first. To finally seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So that all these things can be added to us. The things that we worry about, the basic necessities, food, shelter, clothing, and even more, right? As I was saying, Christ came to give us life and life to the fullest. So that means that we have the potential, be it based on our faith, to live an extraordinary life, a life that not even the media or current celebrities have experienced yet because that's their life, right? I know it's easy to look at someone else's blueprint of life and say, hey, I don't wanna be like that, right? Look at that, I'm gonna leave it like that while I talk. I know, um, you know, it's easy to look at other people's lives and say, oh, wow, that's, I want to do that. I want to be that. And that's cool, right? I think it's good to have inspiration and to be inspired by people who have done the work and who have really lived honorable lives and lives, you know, where they give God the glory for their success, right? But Christ gave each and every single one of us an opportunity to be extraordinary and so it is up to you to make a decision and so when you can't get up out the bed for whatever reasons when you don't feel like it use your mouth and begin to decree the scriptures of God out of your mouth I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me I've been transformed by the renewing of my mind all things have passed away all things have become me I am a royal priesthood I am seated with Christ in heavenly places I have the mind of Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, over my mind, over my body, over 
my soul over my spirit because sometimes you don't really have a language or a label for what it is that you're feeling or for what it is that you're experiencing but the blood amen the spirit of god is able to petition for you the spirit of god is able to intercede for you amen to, to fight for you so trust in that right we have to maintain a childlike disposition right in the arms of our father in the presence of our father think about a child who cannot speak or communicate but yet still when he or she cries it's either a couple things either the baby's hungry tired or needs to be changed or maybe and and, and in rare cases some type of terminal pain that the baby is going through maybe has to be burped or whatever but more more times than not a parent is able to discern what it is the child needs a baby who cannot express himself it's the same thing with our heavenly father he is able to you know interpret what it is that we need all he wants us to do is to cry out so i petition you beloved Cry out to your Heavenly Father. He knows what you need. Uh, humble yourself in the presence of the Lord. And He will do what needs to be done for you. Right? Take the pride out of life. Especially in the presence of one who does not ju judge or who does not condemn. Right? For those who are in Christ, there is no condemnation. So whatever lies the enemy is using to make you feel inferior, unworthy, bind that in the name of Jesus and decree the truth about who God says you are. I am a child of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me and has anointed me. Amen. I am seated with Christ in heavenly places. I am redeemed from the curse. The blessing of the Lord maketh me rich and addeth no sorrow. I delight myself in the Lord and he gives me the desires of my heart. Right? These are scriptures that upon meditation you should feel relief. You should feel relief. You should feel you know, your, your, your your mood change and you should say it and say it and say it until the environment shifts until your emotions shift until your feelings shift amen the lady with the issue of blood said she believes she had faith and she said she said if only if i can touch and she kept the word says she kept saying she kept saying if only i can touch his cloak right i shall be healed so we should be saying if only if i if only I meditate upon his word day and night. If only I seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. If I only cling to steadfastly to the spirit of God, I shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beautiful people. This message was some healing, some breakthrough, some revelations to you and a reminder of how special you are in the eyes of our heavenly father in Christ Jesus. Have a blessed evening. Get that workout in.